the role of critical thinking in life. Critical thinking is essential in our lives. It enables us to be able to think independently, clearly, and rationally. It involves the ability to reflect on an idea or a problem, apply reason, and make logical connections between ideas. Critical thinking is about being an active learner rather than a passive recipient of information. Critical thinkers rigorously question ideas and assumptions rather than accepting them at face value. They always seek to determine whether the ideas, arguments, and findings represent the entire picture of things. We all need critical thinking skills to be able to 1. Understand links between ideas 2. Determine the importance and relevance of arguments and ideas 3. Recognize, build and appraise arguments 4. Identify inconsistencies and errors in reasoning. 5. Approach problems consistently and systematically. 6. Reflect on the justification of our own assumptions, beliefs, and values. Why are all these things important in life? Critical thinking skills are among the most highly valued attributes. Our society aspires to produce people who can solve problems, make decisions, and take appropriate action. Critical thinkers experience fewer negative life events such as irrational behavior. In our increasingly secular society, Young people are exposed to a plethora of ideas that counter the truth. They need critical thinking skills to discern falsehood and make reasoned arguments for their faith. There is a process in critical thinking which follows specific steps. 1. Analysis this involves thinking about a topic or issue objectively and critically. This could start with clarifying the issue. 2. Interpretation or reflection. This means identifying and reflecting on the different arguments relating to an issue. This includes identifying and reflecting on the arguments presented by others on the subject. 3. Evaluation. This involves critically evaluating how strong and varied the different points of view are, including any weaknesses or negative aspects in the evidence or argument. Next is inference. This stage considers the implications there might be behind a statement or argument. For example, considering the ramifications a decision will have for yourself and others. And finally, problem solving and decision making. This last stage gives structured reasoning and support for your choice. Best of luck.